California. It could be the largest insane asylum anywhere in the whole darn world. I want to share some interesting facts with you. I mean, if you're not sitting down, y'all should sit down because it's kind of startling and it kind of hurts your head as well as your heart as well. Here it comes. And this is right out of the LA Times. Real stuff. And these stats are stats of Donald Trump, the president now, has been talking about for a year and a half. And everybody just doesn't pay attention to it. Don't let a fact get in your way, right? Here are some facts. Again, y'all got to sit down. The LA Times back to that again. Only one state in the world could be this wild. 40% of all workers in LA County, and there's over 10 million workers in LA County, 40% of them, they work for cash under the table. They don't pay taxes. These aren't very nice people. A lot of people are doing that and that ain't right. And guess what? They're illegal immigrants. Duh. Is there anything to do with illegal that you don't get. Nancy Pelosi and all you other commie people. Donald Trump was certainly right. 95% in LA County of all warrants for murder are for illegal aliens, 95%. 75% of people on the most wanted list in Los Angeles are illegal aliens, all from Mexico. Over two thirds of all births, this would be all new babies in Los Angeles County are to illegal alien Mexicans. And all the births are paid for by taxpayers, California taxpayers. 35% of all inmates in California detention centers, that would be prisons, are Mexican nationals. Of course, they're here illegally, right? Over 300,000 illegal aliens in Los Angeles County alone just live in garages. They live in garages. Nobody can park the cars in there anymore because there's a whole bunch of them living in garages. And I got to tell you something, it ain't 300,000 garages, okay? It's a lot less. So you're talking about overcrowded. The FBI reports that half, more than half actually, of all gang members in Los Angeles are illegal aliens. Do you think there's a problem yet? You start to see a trend. 21 radio stations in LA are Spanish speaking. Nearly 60% of all occupants of HUD properties are illegals. I'm getting a headache. How are you doing? Less than 2% of illegal aliens actually pick crops. Less than 2%. Everybody thinks that, hey, if you take all these people and pack them up and send them back to Mexico, who's going to pick the crops, right? How about the same people that are doing it now? Less than 2% pick the crops. 29% are on welfare in addition to picking the crops. And how do you get welfare when you're an illegal? I can't get that. Over 70% of the United States annual population growth and 90% of the population growth of California, 90% of the population growth of Florida, 90% of New York is from immigration and it's illegal. Ah, 29% of inmates in federal prisons, that's not California now, I'm expanding, are illegal. And then y'all wonder why you got a financial problem? And Donald Trump, you're mad at him if you're a liberal? Get past that. I mean, he might be the best thing that ever happened to this country because he can fix it. Somebody's got to fix it. Picture your house. You live in a house and you got a whole bunch of neighbor people who come in all the time that don't speak your language, they don't do things that you like and they eat all your food and you have to work. You have to support them. How do you like it now? Not so much. Hey, the magic green hat. I have a magic green hat. Have a look at it. I wore it just the other day. I went into McDonald's and all of a sudden I was there by myself because everyone that worked and all of the customers, they fled. <laughs> just saying. Have you seen a hat like that before? I should start selling them. Maybe we could all uh, make some money. U.S. Border Patrol is what it says. <laughs> I got no more. I could go on and on. But have you got the point yet? I mean, liberalism is stupidism. It's crookedism. Pick your verbiage, but you have these sanctuary cities. Now you have mayors in major cities, Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, that are saying, we like those little immigrant people. And Trump has always said, I'm okay with them too, but they got to go back. They got to come back this way again, but they have to do property. They got to fill out the papers. They got to be legal. And these sanctuary guys, these mayors, put them so far in bloody jail, you got to feed them with a the slingshot because they're breaking the law and they're lawmakers. That's all I got today, but y'all come back tomorrow and we'll have more for you from the right. See ya.